Texas-Oklahoma game. It is 12 Eastern. I apologize for that. The November issue of Men's Fitness Australia features Ronda Rousey. She's the first woman to grace the cover in the undefeated UFC champion is going to join us tomorrow right here in studio. Can't wait for that, so you don't want to miss first take. She will be here with us. We reported yesterday that Miami fired their head coach, Joe Philbin. Now it's Ryan Tannehill that is feeling the heat. According to multiple multiple reports, Philbin told the Dolphins practice squad players to go easy on Tannehill so the quarterback could get some of his confidence back. Reportedly, Tannehill was throwing so many inter, uh, interceptions in practice that he was frustrated to the point where he would talk trash to certain practice squad players. After they would pick him off, quote, listen to this, enjoy your practice squad paycheck, enjoy your practice squad trophy. If that is true, just wow. Stephen A., your reaction. The operative word is, the operative sentence, rather, is if that is true. Because mm -hmm. we don't know. Yep. If that is true, Tannehill has lost his team. Because that is as low class as it gets. If that is true, the only reason Tannehill didn't get punched in his face is because guys were on a practice squad and they want a chance to be in the NFL. And obviously, you saw what happened with the Jets. Or, or, the, or the coach had instructed that, them to right. take it easy on that's the right. starting quarterback. You know, well, keep in mind, Skip, that according to the reports, once the coach had instructed them to take it easy on Tannehill, what they did was stop running altogether whenever he snapped the ball. They showed no respect for him. You're the starting quarterback, paid $95 million, $45 million in guarantees, mm -hmm. and practice squad players have to take it easy mm -hmm. on you. How in God's name can you be a leader? I mean, that's worse than anything I could imagine with Jay Cutler. I mean, yeah, let me apologize. And for you to I, say I, that, I've never been. even heard wait, that did, about. Wait, yes. did, did you just say yes, let you apologize? I have to apologize to Jay Cutler because I never even heard anything that bad about him. I never even yeah. heard anything that bad about him. Where the practice this is squad, big, people. where the practice squad has to take it easy on you, and they're so annoyed and disgusted with the human being that you've revealed yourself to be that in protest, as practice players, practice. they sat up there and said. We just gonna let them throw the pass because we can't win. We damned if we do, we damned if we yep. don't. We get up in them, the coach gonna protect them. Mm -hmm. We intercept them, the coach gonna protect them. Okay? We take a light on him, we ain't we, we ain't accomplishing anything for ourselves, so why bother? Oh. That is the epitome of losing your team. Yeah. That, I mean, that incident alone warrants Joe Philbin being dismissed as head coach mm -hmm. of the Miami mm -hmm. Dolphins. And I take no pleasure in that. I don't want this man fired and having mm -hmm. to lose the ability to provide for his family. I hope that he lands another job as a coordinator tomorrow. He's just not head coaching material to me. He's a coordinator. So with that being said, let's be clear about something here. The real issue is Tannehill. The real issue is the fact that practice players are picking you off. The real issue is that you kids, you lost to the Jaguars, okay? And obviously you just lost to the Jets, okay? You're not having a good season. You're one and three. You, you got wiped out by the Bills. You got at wiped home. out wiped by out. the Bills yeah. at home with Warren Buffett in attendance <laughs> with your owner, Stephen Ross, okay? I mean, you were so bad that Warren Buffett wouldn't give you stock options. That's how bad mm -hmm. Ryan Tannehill and the Miami Dolphins were that day. I mean, please. So when you look at it from that perspective, Here's the bottom line. This new guy, this was a Dan Cunningham, is that his name? Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell, 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 coach, Campbell yep. right. I got to admit to you, Skip, he's just a tight ends coach. Mm -hmm. And in one press conference with him, I, I, I agree saw with this. what yeah, I, I agree. saw more yes. was in three plus years uh -huh. with Joe Philbin. I'm with you. And I said this, I looked at him and I said to myself, well, he's not going to have a problem getting in anybody's face. Right? No. I mean, do you see how massive this yes. dude was? Yes. I was sitting there saying, are you sure he ain't playing? Yeah. Are you sure he ain't playing? He was he a looks, player. He looks like he can play right now. He That's does. a big boy. Mm -hmm. he's a That's big boy. a big boy. So I'm looking at it from the perspective of this is the kind of guy that can get in a dude's face. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This is what you need to do. This is your job. If I'm him, I'm calling and Dominican Sue and the crew up in there today. What would what do y'all want to do? And Dominican, you 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 were the man on Detroit's defense. What did y'all do in Detroit? What is it that you want to apply here? 
Offensively, I'm looking at Tannehill. Mm-hmm. You better man up. Because I'm going to send these cats after you. Yep. And it ain't just a practice squad. It's going to be the first teamers because that's what you got to go through on this NFL level. Did you say that to these boys? Did you say that to them? Money or no money, you're going to apologize right now. Because if you don't, I'm going to send them after you like a pack of wolves. Deal with it. You ain't play no games. It's football. Every Sunday... Okay, because we're going to save money because we damn sure don't expect to see the Dolphins on Monday Night Football. I haven't looked at the Monday Night Schedule in, in, in the last week or so, so I don't remember. But I don't expect to see the Miami Dolphins on Monday Night Football with their mm-hmm. mediocre selves. Yep. Walking piece of mediocrity that they are at this uh, point. I wouldn't give them mediocrity. Right? Listen, I'm saying you Dan Campbell. Mm-hmm. You're going to roll up on and Tannehill because that's just bougie. It's uppity. Okay. It's elitist. Yeah. And it just speaks to you don't say that okay. to cats. Okay, what if you're the, the new interim coach looking like you could still play and you roll up on him and get in his face right. and you completely wreck what's left of his confidence? Well, I'm Is not, that say- not possible. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that you disrespect him. I'm saying that you highlight that he has no right to be disrespectful to other people. Now, if you can't do that, you ain't head coach material. Mm-hmm. It's just that simple. Okay. If you can't do that, if you can't remind somebody that you're supposed to respect your teammates and you ain't supposed to belittle them like that, then you know what? I'm going to send them at you like a pack of wolves because this is what you got to deal with on Sundays. What you getting a break here for? You know, I must remind everyone we got thrown this story on the fly as it broke mm-hmm. yesterday yes. and so we were off the top of our yeah. heads. I had forgotten that the interim coach that Philbin replaced was none other than Todd, Todd Bowles. Right. Are you kidding and me? And the finalist was Mike McCoy for the oh. Chargers. Oh. So he takes Todd his team Bowles. to the I'm saying he Come takes on. his team to the playoffs yeah. his first year in San Diego. And Todd Bowles, even though we like Todd Bowles a lot and we appreciate the job that he's doing, it's only four games uh, in. I understand. McCoy took the start to Chargers to the playoffs. I'm betting on Todd Bowles. So am I'm I. betting on him. So am I. Yep. Okay, so back to the story. Look, I don't want to beat this to death. I, I've been on record before Tannehill's draft. I just never loved him for exactly this reason. I watched him a lot in college, and he never had consistently confident body language. His teammates never consistently responded to him as the driving force of the the football team. He, He never looked like he really believed he was a quarterback. Remember, he was a receiver for a while in college, and he always looked like a talented receiver playing quarterback to me. He's got skills, we know that. He's not terrible, he's not a bust, he's just not that guy. And you're betting on that guy, and I told you yesterday, it's gonna be hard to fix the Dolphins until you fix him, and unless you can fix him, I don't think he's that fixable, given all this. Well, so, okay, then, then where do you go? And, and let me do this about Stephen Ross. You, you've read a lot about him, talking about South Beach, talking about wealth. He's an A-lister, right? He wants to have A-lister uh, c- celebrities in his box yep. during games. But, but why don't you hire an A-list coach? Because how do you pick Joe Philbin, the offensive coordinator at Green Bay who didn't even call plays? How do you do that? Because he's a nice guy, because he's impressive when you talk to him, because he comes across as a guy I could get along with. Why wouldn't that he supposedly flirted with Harbaugh? I don't know what went on. He denied it, but whatever. But why don't you go get a big guy? You could go get, you can afford it, you know, go get a big guy. Some big name, I don't know who it would be, but, but, but. Start over with somebody who will turn everybody's heads in South Beach because it's hard to turn heads in South Beach because there's a lot of distractions, as you always point out, right? Okay, all right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, Joe Philbin, are you kidding me? Stephen Ross hired Joe Philbin? I I, I ain't going to lie to you. Those are one of those rare cases where looks ain't deceiving at all. What you saw was what you got, to be honest with you, with Joe Philbin. Let's just call it what it is. I'll leave it at that. What I will tell you is that I look at a guy like Dan Campbell. He looks like a football he guy. The press conference was so telling, too. Well, I mean, he looks like a football guy, and he's going to tell you what needs to be done. And let's give him a chance and see what he does. But clearly, Philbin wasn't the guy. And when you look at a guy like Tannehill, here's the reality. He's only completed 56% of his passes. Now, they don't have much of a running game. That's the bottom line. They got the worst running, one of the worst mm-hmm. running games in football. There's no question about that. They got the 30th ranked offense. They, he's been sacked. 10 times. We ain't even counting how many times he's been hit. So when we look at it from that perspective, when you hear this kind of stuff, you literally have to wonder. You're not just playing for the coach Mm -hmm. and for the team and for yourselves. You're also playing to help the quarterback. 
And when you have an internal, subtle desire to see the quarterback fall flat on his face, that doesn't help your franchise. Nope. So somebody has to address if there If there is any truth to this report, mm-hmm. somebody has to confront Tannehill. And that has to be addressed. Those are the two things. Tannehill has to be addressed. And the defense, I don't mean literally, of course, but figuratively speaking, the defense has to be handed over to Ndamukong Sue, who does have a rep that he brought from Detroit. Can you get in Sue's face if you're Campbell? Well, I wouldn't go that far <laughs> because it is Ndamukong Sue. That, that, that is a massive... You can talk to him. I don't, even, I don't even know. You can talk to him, yeah. but you can ask. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's not the kind yeah. of dude you can tell. That's a yeah. massive, I massive know. boy. But what you can do is say this. You know, when you were in Detroit, y'all had a top-rated defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you did. Tell me what you think, based on our personnel, we should do. And you know what I'd do? At least week, the first week, I'd listen to Ndamukong Sue. Whoever's running the defense, come here. Come here. Come come, come here. Listen to this dude right here. What, what, what you say? The mayor what, down what, there. What, what, what you say? Uh, I am the mayor. He's got the key. Yes, to I got the key to the city. But what I'm saying to you is this: That's, That's what you need to do with the dog. Come here, come here. Okay. You need to listen to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Whatever he say, just just try it. Just try. Let's appease the big boy because mm-hmm. when he ain't when he ain't right. Yeah. What is right? You don't want. You don't want. It's one thing for him to be mad against opponents. For him to be mad internally. So that yep. makes life very, very difficult. Because what you going to do about him? You yep. can't get security to do anything about the Dominican Sue. Nope. No, nah, you just, hey, what's wrong with trying? What you, what you need? Do, do you need anything in Dominican? <laughs> Can I get you a cup of coffee? Yep. Do, you, do you like Starbucks? You want a vanilla latte? Small or large? What, what do you want? I, I don't what know can if I go I, that what, far. What can I do for you? Mm. That's what I would be doing with the Dominican Sue. The three key words, though, which you mentioned, if it's true. Monday, December 14th, guys, they are on Monday Night Football. Really? The Giants come to town. Really? I wouldn't mind being in that one. Would you you guys want to go on the road for that? You know what? You know what? I might go. You know, Ray Lewis, Trent Dilfer, Steve Young, they have invited me Mm. um, to South Beach, Monday Night Football. That don't sound like a bad option. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm just saying. It might happen. It might happen. A, I, I, I like available. it right here in the studio. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'll All stay right. here by myself. No. I, I don't want to see a Giant's cakewalk. Come on. Somebody get this. Yeah, I, I think he's trying I'm to jinx them. That's a whole other story. Win seven in stop, a row. stop we saying it. it. Now we I'm getting it. nervous about Didn't it. But we, we stay in New York up next. The Yankees are in the World Series push, but CeCe Sabathia will leave the team and address personal matters. We'll discuss that.